Welcome to this NCC Innovation course on Multi-Material Inductors. In our last video, the overview video, we showed that a three-material toroidal inductor should have higher inductance than single-material inductors of the same size because the material with the highest permeability is used for each ring that corresponds to a different H field range. In this video, we will verify the statement by simulating in ANSYS Maxwell. Open AEDT, add a Maxwell 3D design type. Keep the solution type as magnetostatic. Let's create an inductor geometry. First, draw the core. Click the cylinder command. Draw four concentric cylinders with the radii we previously designed. After drawing each cylinder, a window pops up that allows you to specify center position, radius, and height of the cylinder. Specify the dimensions as shown. At any point, if you want to change the dimensions, you can double-click on these history tree elements. Let's use Boolean operations to create rings from the created cylinders. Select the geometry to subtract from, which is cylinder 4, and the geometry to remove, which is cylinder 3. Click the Subtract option. Selecting this checkbox will keep copy of the removed geometry. Repeat the step by selecting cylinder 3 and 2. Do the same for cylinder 2 and 1. This time, we uncheck the box to get a hollow center. Now, let's create the coils. Draw a single turn of a rectangular coil by creating two boxes and use subtraction operation for creating one coil. Then, create five more coils along the toroidal core by selecting this coil and clicking on Duplicate Around Axis. Specify the angle between each two coils as 60 degree for symmetry and the total number of duplicates as 6, including the original one. Now, let's create coil terminals for assigning excitations later. Select all the coils, click Modeler on the menu bar, then Surface, Section, Choose XY plan and click OK. You can see that several sheets are created in the coils and they're sectioned by the XY plan. Click Modeler, Boolean, Separate Bodies. These sheets are now separated, so we can delete one sheet to leave only one sheet as the coil terminal. Now, let's assign materials for both the core and the winding. Select the outer ring of the core. In the Properties window, set the name to Ring 1. Click on Material Value, select Edit, type Ferrite. Click Clone Material, then we can create a custom material by importing user-defined BH curve to indicate the change of permeability with H field. Change the material name to Material 1. Choose Nonlinear for Relative Permeability. Click BH Curve. Then click Import Dataset. Select the BH Curve data file you created in advance. Note that the file extension has to be either .bh or .tab. You can see the BH Curve data is imported and is plotted on the right-hand side. Then we can change the color. Follow the same steps for defining properties for the remaining two rings. Select all the coils, change the name and the color, and assign material as copper. Now, let's assign excitations. Select all the coil terminals created, right-click, select Assign Excitations, Current, Enter 10 Amp. To enable impedance calculation of the whole inductor, right-click Parameters, Assign Matrix, select all the currents. In post-processing, group all the currents and leave the number of branches as 1. That means no turns are in parallel, so all turns are in series. To create a solution region, click the region icon. Select Path All Directions similarly 
and input 50 for percentage offset. To add a solution setup, right-click Analysis, Add Solution Setup, accept the default setup and click OK. To ensure more accurate inductance calculation for the materials with non-linear permeability, click Maxwell 3D on the menu bar. Select Design Settings. Under Matrix, Permeability Computation tab, make sure Incremental rather than Apparent is selected. Make sure you validate the model before you analyze it. Once the analysis is complete, go ahead and view the inductance by right-clicking Result, Solution Data, select Matrix, and tick Post-Processed. The inductance shows under Group 1. Copy and paste the design to create single material toroidal inductors. For creating single material toroidal inductors, change materials for all the three rings to material 1 in one design, material 2 in another, and material 3 in another design, and analyze. Go ahead and view the inductance by right-clicking Result, Solution Data. Similarly, these are the inductance values for other two designs. From these results, we can say that a 3 material toroidal inductor will have higher inductance density than single material toroidal inductors. In this case, the three material inductor design is made for a specific DC current of 10 amp. What if the DC current varies from time to time? How do we select the dimension of the each ring for a three material inductor working at a range of DC bios? We'll look at this scenario in our next video by using parametric analysis in ANSYS Maxwell. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on ANSYS Maxwell or any of our simulation tool, visit our ANSYS learning channel, ansys.com forward slash courses today.